Hi, we're very lucky here today on CATV. I have an exclusive with a good mate of mine and the people's champ, Doug Bollinger. How are you, Luz? <laughs> Hi, Brad. That was a great introduction. I like it. You like it? Mm. I've got, got a business in this, do you Excellent, think? excellent. Firstly, it was good, good to see you back in the test team last week. Did you enjoy your week? Yeah, mate. It was a great time. Um, second test and um, really enjoyed the guys and really enjoyed my time. You're 50% lighter right here in your, in your pocket after trying to <laughs> kick some stones off the wicket. What, what happened there? I was just trying to rough it up for Horry. You know how it is. Um, no, mate, yeah, lost it a bit there, but everything's good. I didn't lose 50, but maybe next time I will. <laughs> That's good. At least, they, at least they know you were there, didn't yeah, they? Even Chris Gale got your name right in the end when he got nicked off to that wonderful catch by the keeper. Yeah, yeah. I think a short little bloke that you know likes to catch him, always does catching drills, so you'd expect him to catch him. So good work to him. Beautiful, it's good to see you back and, and life's changed a bit for you over the last couple of months. You've got uh, young Sky in the family now and how's she going? Yeah, she's great, she's four months now and um, everything, you know, is going well. Everyone says she looks like me so I kind of feel a little bit sorry for her but no, <laughs> it's all good, it's a lot of fun and it's a great challenge. A challenge for you? Yep, I'm very good. Have you changed the nappy? Yes. Well, we're about to start the, the third test and the final test. At the Wacker ground that you've uh, had a lot of success with, you, you got a few wickets here in the Shield game, but that counts for bugger all going into a Test match. So uh, you're looking forward to ripping into the West Indies this week? Yeah, mate, it's, uh, it's one of my favourite places to play. It's a great ground, great wicket, and um, hopefully there's a bit of pace and bounce in it. So, yeah, see how we go. You're going to swing the ball both ways, hit the deck hard and, and bowl a little bit of reverse, as you said you were going to do last week? <laughs> I just run in and bowl them, bash the wicket, mate. But hopefully a bit of swing and bounce. Just off cricket for a bit. I, I know you're a bit of a movie buff and mm. you, you can quote most lines from most movies. I, I had the privilege last night you joined me in my movie, but in my room for a movie, but you brought Hannah Montana in. What, what, what's the story there? Well, I didn't bring it in. It was on the box, and actually, I was in your room, and you had the controls. You so brought the DVD. You're lying to everyone in the camera. You, you brought the DVD <laughs> player with Hannah Montana. <laughs> it's one of my favourites. Well, thanks for spending some time with me on CATV. Good morning, afternoon, and evening. This is Cricket Australia TV. I'm with the hard-hitting, swift-talking, soft hands-catching Brad Haddon. How you going, mate? How are you, Liz? I'm very good. How are you? I'm good. Excellent. Nice shirt, mate. Um... Now, just to get into it, um, batter well in Adelaide. Um, pretty good wicket to get in and not out both times. How are you feeling at the moment? Yeah, well, no, it, was a, it was a good test match uh, in Adelaide. Would have liked the results to go a little bit better. I, I enjoyed my time out in the middle with you. I, I thought you mm. handled the, mm. the pace of Kumar Roach outstanding mm. At, mm. at the end. Uh, but it was, uh, yeah, it was disappointing that it was a, that it was a draw, but uh, it's going to be a big test this third and final one. We've been to the Wacker ground a couple of days training and all that. How do you think it, the wicket's going to be? Uh, if there's anything to go on what it looks like, it, it looks like someone's backyard at the moment. They, no one's, it hasn't really been prepared, so a <laughs> bit of luck close to the game to, tomorrow. We'll start getting more of a picture of what it's going to look like, mm. and, and a bit of luck at, so we can have a bit of uh, carry in this wicket, which I, which I know you love. Keeping to, you know, Mitchell Johnson, Peter Siddle, myself, or even the spinners, what, what, do you, what goes through your head there? Not much? <laughs> As in normal? <laughs> No, not much at all. I, I think it's it's you can't overcomplicate things mm. when uh, when you're trying to catch the ball to to a couple of monkeys. So uh, it's uh, you, you've got to mm. keep things pretty simple. Mm. Who are the guys that you think are going to really step up? I think the ones to to look at are guys like yourself, Mitch, and, mm. and our new bowling attack. Mm. You, you look like you start started to work pretty well to together in um in Adelaide. You you've got M Mitch's pace and, and unpredictability. You've got Sid's as good areas and and you, I, I think, you do all three jobs. <laughs> you, mate, you can bowl reverse, you swing it both ways with mm. the new ball and you bash the wicket. Mate, thank you very, very much. Really hope you enjoy yourself. Have you have a really good rest of the summer and rest of your career. Um, and, yeah, this is Doug Bollinger and Brad Haddon for Cricket Australia TV. Thank you.